Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you three trash to treasure DIYs. I will be creating some far aged uh, stone vases uh, out of these uh, items that could have ended up in the trash. Uh, the first one is a recover container from Beachbody. I love the shape of this container and I like the little lip th thing that it has on top and a while back I shared a home haul over on my uh, home decor haul over on my home channel and I had purchased these vases and they were absolutely beautiful and I bought two different sizes and they were decently priced however there was one that was much bigger and it had a very similar shape to this container but it was like $50 so I didn't really want to pay all that money for it so I decided to make one myself so I had peeled off uh, the sticker that was on there and then I had spray painted two coats of chalked white spray paint on it and I was kind of hoping that I would create some drips because I thought it would give this of us some character so the first coat went on covering most of it and then once that had dried I added another coat. So you can see it did create some drips. Now for the bottom of it I went ahead with my Annie Sloan Coco Chalk Paint and I put a very thick layer of it on. Now you will see at the end this paint did crack a little bit which was not what i intended for it however i thought it gave the vase such an amazing character uh, those cracks which you will see at the end so like i said i went in with a very deep um very, very uh, thick coat and trying to have somewhat of a straight line, you could also tape it off with painter's tape to have a perfectly straight line, but I wasn't overly picky when it came to that. So once that was covered up, I just went in with a thick coat of white acrylic paint. You can also use chalk paint at this time as well, just to add a little bit of texture to the top part where it was uh, spray painted with chalk paint white. Uh, like I said, I went, went in very thick and I didn't spread it out much. So you can see um, it, it just gave a lot of texture. Another way that you could do this is by adding maybe some baking soda to the paint and it would give you tons of texture as well. So it's all done and like I said I absolutely love the cracks and all the texture that this container ended up having. For my next one, I have uh, a jar that came from Yankee Candle. I had t removed the uh, leftover wax that was in there and I tried to clean uh, the inside of it from uh, the candle. but to no luck so I just ended up washing it washing off as much as I could and then I proceeded dabbing on black uh, gray and white paint just in mixing it up and I'm using like a stenciling brush to do this this is giving it that concrete look that I absolutely love The 
this was such a simple and easy DIY to to do and very inexpensive as well because let's face it we all have some form of a jar at home whether it's a candle jar or spaghetti jar a spaghetti sauce jar we all have them and instead of throwing them in the garbage we can repurpose them and create a look of high end because um, some of these at Pottery Barn go pretty expensive upwards of hundreds of dollars and we can recreate them for nothing. You can add more white if you want it a little bit lighter. I was going for a bit more of a darker look. The last one that I'm going to be working on is this bottle. I had this bottle from Maple Syrup and I thought it was such a pretty bottle. Um, I was struggling with taking the sticker off so I ended up taking it to the sink and running hot water over it and it made the sticker just fall off. Now I'm going to be creating another painted look uh, using that Coco Annie Sloan chalk paint and I'm going to give it a good coverage just one coat was enough to give it uh, enough coverage that the glass wasn't poking through and once that had um, time to dry now I didn't want it completely dry uh, but I wanted let's say about 75 percent dry then I went ahead and I took some of white acrylic paint and I had dry brushed it, well dabbed it onto the vase and then with with the cocoa paint not being completely dry it kind of blended it and then I also added a little bit more uh, cocoa paint just dry brushing it and blending it all in and you just want to keep blending it until you achieve the look that you want. I just love the way this turned out. I think this one is my favorite and I would love to know which one is your favorite. Um, I think this one's just the perfect size to go on little shelves or even your tear tray. Well, I hope you had enjoyed these super easy and fun uh, trash to treasure makeovers and uh, let me know which vase you think um, turned out the best and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads and those of you returning, thank you so much for your continuing support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye.